So I'll spare you guys the nitty gritty. I uh, ripped her open and got all the parts apart here. <laughs> if you can see here, I wrecked this wire pretty much right away. For well, first second time, I think I took it out and I sheared it uh, when I had a clog. I currently have a clog. I broke it down the tube somewhere. So I'm really hoping I can just kind of push it uh, with the other filament when I get it back together. But I figured in the meantime, since I got it all together, out and gutted right now, I'll do the Teflon tape mod. Now from what I gather, it's relatively easy to do. Uh, I couldn't get the pictures at first. Apparently you gotta sign in to <laughs> the Tico uh, forums on an account to see the pictures. That was my mistake. But I know what it looks like now and I kind of know what I'm doing. So some people are saying they did like one, two reps. Uh, some people are talking like six to get it kind of tight. So I'm going to go like four on each side. See if that improves anything. And I just wanted to do it on camera so anybody else that was having kind of trouble like me might be able to find it easy. So I didn't bother and plug anything. I kind of like to keep it together as much as possible. I don't want to rip these cords out or anything because, well, I'm Mr. Idiot Fingers who uh, destroys stuff when he takes it apart all the time. So I want to do that less. This is Teflon tape if anybody doesn't know. It's normally used for plumbing. Uh, you, you seal your air uh, threads with something like this. I got it on my compressor fittings and stuff like that. So, let's see here. I'll try that. Oh, I got no scissors. There you go. I don't want to refund this thing because, well, the Tico parts are turning out to be a little weaker than I first expected, let's say. So, I'm really hoping they're going to come out with a second batch of parts that addressable a bunch of the problems we've been having we'll see they uh they seem to be pretty open to suggestion and taking a little bit of credit for what's going on with all the problems with the Ticos we'll see what happens though I guess in the future oh man what have I done uh, see idiot fingers I can't even tie a knot Oh, there we go. Come on, you can do this. Managed to stab myself in the finger the other day with a razor blade doing the or pulling off. Ah piece of plastic from the demo model. Oh yes. Uh, I should do this with pliers, for the love of God. There we go. Not it. Ha! So, that's what it looks like right now. I'm gonna see if I can just slide it on there. See if it makes a difference. Ah! Everything get in there for a minute. That's right. Take it. Uh, okay, you can see this, right? Let's see. Will you slide on? My rails are lubed. Oh, yeah, 
you like that. Loop rails. <laughs> uh, come on, just go on. Don't break. There we go. I don't know if that's better or not. Ooh, ooh, it does feel better right away. That feels a lot tighter. That's all I'm going to do on that one, actually. Yep. I am just going to leave that just like that. That seems to be nice and tight. I just hope. I'm not on the gear side, so I think that'll be good. I should keep that in mind for when I'm doing the next ones. Not on the gear side. So it doesn't get all mashed up or pulled off even. Okay. So, I guess I'll do this one next. Is the gear on the same, it has to be, right? Gear on the same side in all of them. Yeah, so I'm just gonna match what I did there and see if I get a little bit better performance from my Tico. I'm gonna give myself a lot of slack this time. <sighs> One. Two. Maybe it's because I'm making a big mess here. Two. I thought I only needed it on the one side. Okay. Did he give himself enough to tie a damn knot? Uh, yes, excellent. Okay. And one more time. Bam. Okay, trim that. Don't want whiskers. Do not cut a wire. Ah! Okay. Let me uh, make sure to get that out of there. Just in case. Now, I don't know if you guys have had this problem, but my power wire seems to always be squished when uh, the stuff's all the way up. Or. It seems like it's pulling or something when I have it running through here. I can't remember how it was uh, wired in before, so I don't know what route to take where it's not actually being pulled or pushed. Or It just seems like it's going to wear out that circuit board and pull off one day and then boom, no power. You know what I'm saying? Saying? Okay. Now... Do the same side. There we go. Um. Okay. Now, extruder. What do I want to do first here? 
think. Gotta drop everything in there. Ugh. Suck up your guts. Uh, where's the key? The key goes down right now. He is not down. Go down. Okay. Push you in there. Just like that. I think that's on. God damn it. Where is it? Not on the key. Okay. What the hell are they Way off. Way off. Terrible. Okay. There we go. Better. Uh, everything's just a mess. Uh, there we go. Uh, Oh, what am I doing? That's what I'm having a problem with. I'm crushing the damn boat tube. Ugh. Okay. So, now, what have I done? Uh, there you go. Do I lock it? Ah! Uh. God damn it, so fucking tight. Sorry, sorry. I feel like I've got it wrong if it's too tight now. Uh, don't break the wires. Uh, there's no good way to grab this motor either. Come on. I feel like I don't have it on right then. Come on. What am I doing wrong? That should go. I don't have it on right. Wires should be over here. Oh well, maybe that's a problem. Oh, what was happening there? Oh my God. Ugh. Ow. Okay. Now I'm gonna fight with some more stuff. Uh, connect this tube. And you're on. Good. Okay. And then, which way does everything go now? What are you connected to? Oh. Why? Why are you fighting me so bad? Tico, I've shown you nothing but love. Ugh. 
Okay, there's one. Doesn't have to be like this. Now, the damn power cord one, which has, like I said, a power cord on it, which means <coughs> impossible to stick the motor on without putting a whole ton of stress on the little motor carriage thing. Well, that's nice. That went on easy. Okay, cool. So, now, push you up a bit. And reattach the Bowden tube de la. Okay, plug everything back in now, clickety clack, all wires facing, the hook thingies facing inward wise towards the motor on those little cords, just so you know. nice trying to make a video there we go and then power cord that is squished all the time <laughs> why am I doing this what am I doing wrong with the power cord Ugh. Chico help me Run the power cord through the center. That's what I've done. And then, if I run it over here, it gets run over all the time. Maybe run the wire back around, back around, all the way over here. Around and up and away from the other motor. Over there. There we go. Maybe, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, I don't know if I got rid of any, I know I've got rid of some slop for sure because I made things tighter. Like it's just impossible that I didn't. But how much, who freaking knows. Uh, I'll do a print that I've been having issues with I don't know if it's this thing's fault or yes I know it's this thing's fault okay troubles are brewing I can't get it plugged in anyways I'll spare you guys I got it all together 